morning welcome to rich dad's cash flow clubs my name is roger moore in studio with me today is my favorite attorney and agent tammy kato hi roger hi Jonan tobago and if tammy's boyfriend is listening i was just joking but he'll be my favorite number two is captain che williams hi good day Trinan tobago and thanks a lot for having me today roger and Che is running his drone company, Ibis Eye. He's also an agent with us, and these days he's doing a lot of aerial photography. And in studio with us today as well is Blaine Thomas, the Raw Land Man. What's up? If you ever want to buy Roland, he is one of the biggest <laughs> sellers of Roland. That's all he loves to sell. And it's not because he's a Rasta man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, today we are here to talk about some really important stuff. Now, I know that you all know about cash for clubs and you all have been hearing us for the past couple of weeks. We have found a simulation based approach to teach business, investing and finance. Now, our business school is invented by Robert Kiyosaki himself. He is the writer of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. So sometimes I'm asked whenever I'm doing my talks all over the country. Roger, have you guys found the solution? To income inequality income inequality is a worldwide problem and the answer to that question is a resounding yes for the past 12 years we have trained thousands of people using cash flow and have had some dramatic results so yes we have found a solution to income inequality and as you've been hearing from all the buzz on social media from <laughs> From Mario Sabga's Abud's ab ac accusations or his statements, right? He actually has a point. Income inequality is a very big problem. It's the divide between the haves and the have-nots. We have found a way to bridge that divide. And that bridging of that divide starts with financial education. If you're not financially educated, if you don't know anything about money, then there's no chance of you to succeed in this financial world. Our education system was designed to produce employees. J-O-B stands for just over broke. So if you're just earning a salary alone and just living off of that one source of income, you are what we call just over broke. And it's not fair. It's really not fair for people to suffer like that and not be able not able to afford the things they want in life so we are telling you you are responsible for your financial future rich books like rich dad poor dad are available in every bookstore in the country it's online it's on youtube it's on google you have no excuse you have to take responsibility for your financial future so our business school uses games and simulations to teach business, investing, and finance, which is what we call capitalism. We teach you how to be a capitalist, just like the Sabgas, just like the Abuds. We want to be like that. And for you to reach to that level, you have to start off the way everybody started off. Invest in your financial education and, of course, learn to sell. They all went through that process in the past. Some of their friends used to laugh at them. Used to laugh at them when they sold door to door. Sir Dupri, who built Clico, sold insurance door to door. So sales is your first step, learning to sell, because we say at Casho, sales equals income. And everybody who comes to comes to on this radio show, we all have a sales background. Blaine has a strong sales background. Che is hardcore in sales. Tommy is an attorney with a background in sales. We're all in sales. I paid my dues in sales for over 10 years. I learned to sell straight out of business school. Went into the insurance industry. My family personally thought I was nuts. <laughs> because I'm from a family of very educated people. My sister's a doctor. My dad is an engineer. My mom is an accountant. All my cousins all over the world are lawyers, doctors, and accountants. So when I gradu graduated from university and I decided to become an insurance agent, my family thought I was on drugs. <laughs> they thought I was nuts. 
the the look of disappointment on their face when they realized I became an insurance agent was amazing. It's only my mother who read Rich Dad Poor Dad realized what direction I was heading. I was heading to be a business owner. So, Tommy, did you face any kind of similar thing? Well, you, you're a lawyer, but a background in sales. But did you face any kind of similar thing when you started becoming a salesperson? The thing about it is, my dad told me once I do law, I could do anything else after. <laughs> <laughs> so, literally, finally in law, I enrolled in UWE to do economics. And um, business has always been a passion for me. So, it's a matter of time. Me being in business, that was just a matter of time. Ah, uh, What about you, Che? You face any kind of resistance? Yeah, I've, I've much more experience any recent late, you know, I mean, as of per my character and stretching in terms of growth. So my resistance as per family, I would say I've gotten a lot of support, but I'm a professional captain and be, making the switch and making the balance between sales is also leaving a show income to what I consider a much greater opportunity. Mm. In the eyes of others, it may be limiting. Yeah. What about you, Blaine? You face any resistance from your family going into sales? Well, on some level, but Roger, I was always on the noble pursuit of wealth <laughs> <laughs> since I boy. so you have always been a hustler yeah, so how long have you been in sales overall i mean i started sales in network marketing as a, in my late teens and i got a lot of back, backlash there in terms of <laughs> you know friends didn't support you as they thought they would you know took was like i don't i don't want to get in that that, mm. that permit scheme mm-hmm. what not what not so you know learning from that and then going into other types of sales jobs and stuff like that but my family was it was didn't really matter to them it was like whatever you do your thing mm. yeah so i never really had a major pushback from them it's more that people i expected their support they never gave it to me mm. i remember when i started my mba i lasted one semester <laughs> and when i dropped out my dad almost got a heart attack <laughs> he almost got a heart attack he's like what's wrong with my son you know and funny enough starting that mba program actually made me miss a lot of great deals at the time i was pursuing a, a fitness franchise and i was so close i get it funded three outlets you know and the company i was going to finance me they went down with the financial crisis i just mm-hmm. took too long to put that deal together because i had to study for my mba oh it was horrible <laughs> i had to prepare for exams yuck who here loves exams nobody you know i missed out on that opportunity but you know what we all learn from our mistakes mm-hmm. and to this day I have never met an MBA graduate that straight out of the MBA program started a successful business. I still haven't seen it. I mean, I met one girl so far who has an MBA, but she's an entrepreneur, but she graduated a long time ago. But I don't see them fresh out of business school going into business. I don't see it. I just don't see it. And that's because the perspective you get from the MBA program is that of an employee not an employer Mm -hmm. the skills you need to make it as an employer are different from those of an employee we need on the business and investor side we need to learn to sell we need to learn financial literacy we need how to run a team how to lead a team so we need leadership skills sales skills we need you need to learn accounting and investing those are very important skills of a business owner and it's very easy to say, Rog, if I have to sell, I will sell. Right? And done right there. If I have to sell, I will sell. <laughs> it don't work so. This is how you know you can sell. How much money did you make last month in sales? How much money did you make the, week befo- the month before? If you're making money in sales, more than your salary, then, my friend, you can sell. If you're not making money in sales, you cannot sell. That's how it is. It's that, it's that hard, right? It took me about two years to perfect, to perfect sales, right? So that's, I guess that's the average now. So the most important thing after you finish cash flow, what everybody does are sales courses. There are only three sales courses in the country. My course is one of them, one of the three. The other two, the Carnegie is a fantastic course to do. If you can do the Dale Carnegie course or the Dale Carnegie sales course, do it. You know, I should be promoting them on radio, but, you know, I owe my success to Dale Carnegie. I did those courses back in 2007 and I learned a lot. You have, uh, Blaine, you're a graduate of Dale Carnegie as well, huh? Yeah, absolutely. I'm actually taking the class again right now. Ah, yeah. So you're back on as a volunteer. 
You know, I realized Blaine doesn't network a lot, but I really had to watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, basically, what we do at Cashflow, we produce entrepreneurs. And there's a reason why we do what we do. For our country to move forward and to gain that competitive advantage, we must invest in our country's most important resource. And that resource, that number one resource, is not oil and gas. That important resource is not infrastructure. We all looked and got inspired by Vision 2020. But to achieve something like that and to achieve other things beyond that, you have to invest in our country's most important resource. And that is the human resource. That is all of you that are listening to this program out there. That is all of us in studio. That's why we push cash flow so much. Because we want to produce more entrepreneurs and investors. We teach both under the same roof. Because we need both to not just survive as a country, but to thrive. Because every year, more and more graduates are finishing university. And they're all looking for jobs. And there are not enough jobs for them to find. We have a bunch of medical students sitting at home watching TV. Watching, what do you call it? Um, Game of Thrones. <laughs> medical graduates, university graduates can't get jobs at the hospital. Right? We hired a couple recently at Mad Science because we have growth potential. Right? But we can't hire everybody. We need more entrepreneurs and we desperately need more entrepreneurs. Right? So we are investing in our country's most important resource. And I would love to make a point about people who think that these politicians are superheroes. Politicians are not superheroes. We have a serious disease as a country. And that disease is called government dependence. True? True. Very true. Everybody has that affliction. Entitlement. Government dependence. Entitlement. Entitlement mentality. Always assume that the government could do this and the government could do that. Keith Rowley could save this country. Kamala could do it. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Let me repeat. It doesn't matter who's in charge. They all operate within the same system. The same slow government system. So I remember an analogy um, an entrepreneur once shared. He said, imagine walking down the highway. And there are three cars on the way up. The first car zooms by you. Vroom, at 90 miles an hour. That's business. It is fast-paced. It is cutting edge. And it's innovative. We solve real-world problems at a very rapid pace. That's why entrepreneurs are such valuable people. We are problem solvers. We build business to solve problems. The second car, further down, down the road, zooms by at about 60 miles an hour. Mm. That's NGOs. NGOs like Arrive Alive and all those great NGOs and Habitat for Humanity. They do great work. They're somewhat innovative. They're not as fast as business, but they do get the job done. Right? And further on down the road, driving at five miles an hour with two busted taillights and a busted flat tire. <laughs> That's government. <laughs> it can't even drive properly. Slow. You know, it just it, ba it barely passes you as you're walking. And people are relying on that vehicle to help them achieve their financial dreams. Government systems are really slow. This is why, even though I was blessed with the gift of gab, I will never go into politics because I would not be able to accomplish anything. Look at what, look at Parliament Channel if you don't believe me. They are heavily distracted by constant bacchanal and constant politics. That's the game they're playing. It's called politics. An entrepreneur doesn't have those distractions. We don't have an election every five years. We can accomplish goals and make things happen without distraction. So if you want to achieve great things like Vision 2020 and a Caribbean space program and all kind of things, all those great things, is because entrepreneurs focus on those issues and those problems to solve those problems, right? So when we get back, we're going to talk more about entrepreneurship and why we need more entrepreneurs.
The book Rich Dad Poor Dad has impacted millions of lives worldwide. It is a six-time New York Times bestseller and written in over 150 languages. The tagline for the book is what the rich teach their kids about money that the poor and middle class do not. We run one of Rich Dad's largest and most active cash flow clubs. It is a volunteer-run business school that uses simulations to teach investing, finance, and entrepreneurship. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Rich Dad's Cash Flow Clubs. Now, a lot of Trinidadians, big onions are looking for properties, not just in Trinidad and Tobago, but also in Florida. So just recently, us at the Remax team, we sent about five agents all the way to Orlando to check out some properties over there. We found, we found some condo hotels, five minutes drive from Walt Disney. Some amazing stuff. And, you know, of course, it blows away. And the prices were around the, around the same range of properties in this country. So Tammy is here to give us a little rundown of what she discovered in Orlando. Hi, Trina and Tobago. Let me put up this disclaimer. Do not buy land or property in the U.S. if you don't have the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because... Nice. It's priced so wonderful that you want to buy everything. You want to buy the whole of Orlando. And I could see why construction was literally on every corner. Wow. Every single corner, a new development was going up. So it's five minutes drive from Walt Disney. Yes. Dream traffic hours or just overall? So traffic, 20 to 25 minutes. But literally, it will take you to the West Gate or the West Entrance to Disney. Wow. But there's no need to drive because the, bus the Disney bus actually comes to one of these condo hotels. Wow. <laughs> so Mickey Mouse could pick you up from your home. Yes, that is correct. Wow. So what, what about the times, the period of time when, you know, we're, they're back home in Trinidad? What happens to their... their condo hotel right so there's a management company that will actually take care they will book they will maintain they will pay almost everything utilities all you do is pay your mortgage that's it wow so you could use your rental income to pay your mortgage and everything you use your rental income to pay your mortgage you can also promote it here it, it is something that could really and truly be an income producing asset on a whole in the true sense Mm, it's not just a house you buy and that you go on vacation in. No, 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 no. So what kind of price range some of these condo hotels go for? So the two bedroom, two bath goes for US Trinidad, US two hundred and eighty thousand. Two eighty thousand. Uh huh. Well, let me see. Was the range six point eight? I use six point seven. Six point seven equals one point eight million t one point eight seven six million TT. No, okay, that's not bad. That's, that's the price right. of a four bedroom house and yes. Va no, not Valpark, no. <laughs> <laughs> not Valpark, no. <laughs> I'd be like, say, no, not even St. Augustine. Canopia. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, let me tell you what you get with this condo hotel. There's a water park. There's mm -hmm. clearly a lot of lakes all over Orlando. So, you get to do water sports in the lakes. Mm -hmm. There's also pools galore. Yes, pools. Wow. So, it's a, it's a literally it's a vacation home. So, water parks... Plus Cubans equals fun. <laughs> <laughs> so 1.8 million TT. That's not bad. Yes. And I'm sure a lot of people are interested in finding out more about the condo hotels in Florida, which is, well, we don't want to call brand names live on air. Of course, we want you to do it through Remax Real Estate Group. Our agents are all trained to sell these properties. How can they get you, Tammy? Okay, so if you're interested, please contact me at 274 Eight eight six six. There's also a special on where you could spend four days and three nights at four hundred dollars. Four hundred US. Two seven four. Two seven four eight eight six six. So if you want more information on the condo hotels in Orlando, which we found to be really really good, we met this the, the real estate group um, property Florida Properties Limited a couple of weeks ago, and they came to is was it Hyatt Hyatt, yeah. uh, Hyatt Hotel. And we had some fun with them and we got to meet them and see their properties. We fell in love, not just with them, but with their properties. Yes. And of course, we sent about five agents across there and they had a ball. They were teasing us with all their photos <laughs> on the, on the, in the pool and, in the, and on the big, humongous couches in the apartments. You know, so I'm still pissed at them yes. because I was, you know, all home alone watching their fancy pictures and, <laughs> you know. They had lots of food and they got all fat. So <laughs> we need to send them to the gym. So, <laughs> so if you want more information, give Tammy a call 
at the with uh, about the Orlando uh, condo hotels. There's more than one property. They have houses there as well. They right? have houses and they're also townhouses. So townhouses. There's a wide variety of what of what, different houses. What kind of prices the townhouses go for? The townhouses are reasonably priced. Two hundred and fourteen thousand. Two one four. So let's see, two one four thousand multiplied by six point seven. Let's see, one point four million TT. That that's not bad at all. That's a house priced. in a smaller yeah. smaller house in Canopia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the average price right now, one point five. Yeah, if that's you get a house yeah. for one point five. That will be gone in like so five minutes. So for the minutes. price of an average house in Trinidad and Tobago, you get in a condo hotel in Orlando, five minutes drive from what is those are five minutes drive from what is into the townhouses. Probably houses. ten minutes, but it is literally right there. Wow! Mm-hmm. And those could be rented out while you're not there as well. While you're not there, it's rented out. They have a management company They're, handling it for you. All of these properties have management companies. That wow! These properties. Okay, so those are fantastic deals, right? So give Tammy a call, and if you didn't hear her number before, it's. Two seven four eight eight six six. Fantastic. All right. And if you have properties to sell in Trinidad and Tobago and you want drone footage of your properties, you want that area of you to give that give yourself an edge in selling those properties, one of our top agents is Che Williams. Che Williams also runs a part-time company called Ibis Eye. He does aerial video and photography. He's fantastic with it, with his drones. He has some of the most advanced drones. What kind of drones do you have right now? Well, we're using an Inspire One Pro along with the X5 camera, which is a 5K camera on a 360 gimbal. So it all permits us to take HD quality pictures. And we're stepping into a lot more f- showing the features from the air. So, example, the proximity photos to show close you are for the high to the highway or mall That's or important. shopping center. Yes, yeah. Alongside that, we're taking topography so you could see exactly the bounds of the property you're using, and so you get a better idea what the footage, what the square footage is like from the air. And we've also just transitioned into 3D imaging, so it's mm. definitely a service that you can use when you're trying to give a show around of the exterior to complement the great interior photos that Remax takes. Oh wow, fantastic! So for those that are interested in and chase services or you want him to sell your property give him a call at 307-1739 and for international listeners we know you're out there one 307 1739 alright good so for all those who want an introduction to exactly what we do at Cashflow Club we deal with business and real estate we teach people to invest in those things because those are real assets if you don't believe me look at the advanced business owners the ones that go on TV and make all sorts of claims, they are successful. They buy real estate and businesses because those are real investments, right? We want you to do the same thing too. We want what's best for you. So at cash flow, you're ev- you even learn by doing, you learn how to raise capital. And a lot of people can't, they don't start business or they don't invest in real estate simply because they don't know how to raise capital. And that, my friends, is not taught in our education system. And we outright say, that's wrong. You need, that subject of money and capitalism should be taught in our education system. It's It's a human tragedy as to what's happening now. And we all take it for granted. But we on Cashflow Club, we do not take it for granted. So our next Cashflow Club course starts tomorrow at Val Park Shopping Plaza. We still have space in the class. It's a six-week course every Wednesday from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. We have managed over the years to keep the costs low. So the price of the course is low. It's a low price of $9.99. That's basically $1,000 for all six weeks. Once you graduate from the course, you can come back as a free volunteer for as many sessions as you like. Some people come back for five, six years straight to not just sharpen their skills, but also to network with other entrepreneurs and investors, the the real movers and shakers of this country, right? So tomorrow starts our next course. If you want more information on it, give me a call at 768-6761. That's 768-6761. Now, before we close with our cash flow club segment, we want to know what's the Remax real estate deal of the week. Okay, this week's deal of the week. 
all our listeners have the opportunity to move to the serene, picturesque, high standard gated community of La Pastora Gardens in Santa Cruz. Mm, nice. So we have a beautiful lot there. It's already cleared. 18,700 square foot lot. Um, it's going for $2 million. That's a small cash out of $2 million to live in a beautiful community. If you see the houses in there already, mm. I want to live there. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and we also have all the building approvals and you could also get completed house plans valued at $200,000. So you don't have to get anybody to build the house for you. We already have plans set up. Okay. Wow. So how can they contact you? They can contact me via cell 739-0422. That's seven three nine zero four two two, or they can email me at Blaine Thomas at Remax dot net. All right, so give Blaine Thomas the AK Ro- Ro- the Roland man. Give him a call if you're interested in finding out more about that property. Yeah, and there's one other property as well in Lengua. It's six lots, and it's all approvals. We're having it prepared right now for your purchase at two hundred thousand per lot. That's one point two million. So call me soon on three zero seven. One seven three nine Titus Road off of Realize Road. All right, good. And if you again, if you're interested in doing cash flow, we only take if you want to be a real estate agent one day, you gotta do cash flow first. That's the first step. Once you do cash flow, you have a different way of thinking. You start thinking like the business owners out there in Trinidad and Tobago, right? And hopefully, you don't make any weird comments on international shows. So. If you want more information on Cash Flow Club, call me at 768-6761. It starts tomorrow. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to Rich Dad's Cash Flow Club. My name is Roger Moore. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys next week.